Hey guys, Rubik Snap here, and if you're watching this video, it's because you want to learn how to solve the 5x5 Rubik's Cube, and I'm gonna teach you and explain as easily as possible using the reduction method, which is basically to solve the centers, then the edges, and then like a 3x3. Three three. So let's go! Okay, now it is scrambled and let's start by the white center. So first we do the middle bar. So we have to do a, a, ver a vertical bar with three pieces. So let's start by the middle one, which has this little center here. So let's find the piece that goes here and another one that goes here. So for example, this one and this one very easily just bring them up. And there we go and make it vertical like this. And then let's try to pair other pieces to make the other two bars. So for example, I've got this piece here in the corner and this here. So I can bring this to the left like this and make this bar. And let's find another piece that goes here. So I've got this one, for example, that can go here or this one. It, it's easier. So let's put this one like this and this one in the same position as this and bring it up and move it to the other side and bring this back down. This is important to, to do a move, take it to the other side and then do it so that you don't mess up with something that you had already done here. In this case, it didn't mess it up, but in case we had this already done, it would mess it up. So that's two bars. And now let's find a way to pair these two together. So I can take this to the other side, move it like this and bring it back and pair them up. And now the other one is down here. So let's move it like this, same position, bring it up, move it to the other side and bring it back down so that we fix this bar and move it up and there we go, we have the white center. Now let's go for the yellow one. So starting with the middle center to do a vertical bar. So we have these two pieces, the same, let's move it up and up, for example, and we can turn this, that it goes vertical and we can bring these two down Again, fix the white center and we have this yellow bar. So there are many ways to do this. This is an intuitive step. So there's really not a single way to do it. In this case, for example, I have this bar. I have to bring it up. So what I can do is move it up, but that messes up with the white center. So just turn it two times the upper side and bring this back down. Let's pair the last yellow bar. So we have these two here, let's move them down like this, down to the left and bring the other one. That's a bar. Now I can just bring it, it up like this because that messes with the white. So let's bring it back down. So we have to put this in the same side as this bar here. So let's just turn it twice like this. It's on the same size as this one that's already solved on the top. Move it up, turn it two times in the top layer, move it back down. There's our yellow center and the white center as well. Now let's do the other centers the same way. So starting with the blue, I like to keep the white on the left and the yellow on the right. Let's find a piece that goes into here with the blue so that we make the middle blue bar. So there you go, that's one piece, make it vertical and find more pieces. For example, these two can pair up with these and you can immediately bring it out like that. So just keep doing that. And next to blue, it will come the red. So the color scheme is white on top, blue, red, green, orange. So next to blue is red. Now let's go for the last two centers. This is the harder part of the centers. So let's first solve the green middle bar. There we go. And now this is, luckily we have this bar already. So move it up, turn twice, move it down. And now this is a little bit trickier. In this case, I can just bring this down to pair it up, move it to the right and bring it back up. I fix all the other centers and these two are automatically solved. But you can also go into a case like this where you have only one or two pieces that you can't really match together. This can easily be solved with a commutator. So in this case, this orange needs to go here. So if it was like this, just move it so that they are in the same position and bring this layer down like that, move it to another side. So turn this so that it goes into the left. Now move the same layer where this piece is, focus on this piece, move it down, only this layer. Now bring it back to the right, how it was before, move it up and bring back to the left and move it up. 
so that's the way you can switch to center pieces so here's another example you have one piece but these ones are like in the middle so just turn one side that so that they are in the same position so bring this layer down remember this is the piece so move it to another side for example move it down so that it goes into the middle layer now move the middle layer down as well move it this one back to the right like this move it up back to the left like this and move it back up and there we go all right so that was the centers all centers solved let's go for the second part which is to pair all the edges and in this case we have three edges on each side that need to be paired so starting with this one this is already a good case so the other green and orange is here so let's just insert it here so that we can pair them up in this case I don't want to insert like this because that way I can't pair them up so let's bring it back up so in this case I can insert it the other way so F R prime F prime R and there we go it goes into the place and now I can just slice and pair them bring it up and replace this edge with an unsolved edge any any of these unsolved edges on the top so replace it with this one and that's our first edge solved here and remember to fix the centers af after you've done that so that you don't get distracted and then mess around with the centers In this case, this one needs, I need to move it down here, but not like this because I can't pair them up like this if I slice. So let's bring it back up and let's insert it another way, for example, like this. And like this, it goes into the bottom. I can slice, pair them together and replace this edge with an unsolved one like that and fix the centers. Now, for example, I have this red and white. This is white and red, so we have to flip it. And in this case, we can take it out and insert the other way, or you can just use the flipping algorithm, which is like this, R U R prime F, R prime F prime R. So we flip it to the other side and we can pair them together like that. And let's find the other red and white, which is on the bottom. So let's turn the cube around and it is here. So I cannot insert it like that. We cannot pair them together like that. So let's do like F R prime F prime R and there we go pair them together and solved edge and fix the centers there we go and now we have all solved on the top so let's turn the cube upside down now we know that we don't have to pay attention to what's on the bottom because it's everything solved let's go for the next one I see orange yellow and this one not like this the other way around so F like that pair them together and let's find this middle one which is here and I can pair them like that insert an unsolved edge fix the centers there we go now I see these two and these one so I can just do two slices this is the easiest case and there's another one oh in this case I paired these two and this one has to go down here so I can use the flipping algorithm on here there you go and now I can slice these two and replace with an unsolved edge and fix the centers okay now we have everything solved on the top layer and on the bottom layer and only these four middle edges to solve so here these are paired up but this one is flipped so I can bring this one to the right like that only this middle one and do the flipping algorithm to flip it and bring it back and there you go that's solved now for these ones this is an interesting case you have these two on the top side and this one on the top side as well in this case we still have another one to solve so let's bring this one to the top layer and let's flip this so that it goes to the bottom to pair with these two there we go so we can pair them up and, and replace with this unsolved edge very carefully not to mess up with all the other edges and now we are left with only two edges to solve so here we have to understand what we need so in this case I can start by flipping for example this piece so that it matches this one so let's bring only this middle piece here to the right and flipping algorithm and bring it back to the left there we go that's solved 
and now for this case we can just flip this one and insert there because then we don't have any edge to replace it with so this is actually what we want these two are on the bottom and this one on the bottom as well so in this case we can flip this one to here this one needs to go there so do the flipping algorithm and bring it back to the left and this one is solved and this one is solved as well only this middle one is flipped this can happen sometimes this is a parity and all you have to do is hold it like that and do this algorithm so r wide with two layers u2 then you do an x rotation so rotate the cube like this and then r wide u2 again and again and then r prime with three layers u2 l wide with two layers u2 r prime wide u2 r wide u2 r prime wide u2 r prime wide and there we go that fixes this edge and now we have all edges solved and now we just solve it like a 3 by 3 let's do the cross there we go and now let's do the f12 and if you don't know how to solve a 3 by 3 you can watch my tutorial i leave the link in here you can just go check that out There we go, that's F12 done, now the last layer, OLL, and PLL, I do to look PLL still, because on bigger cubes I don't really understand what, what's the case, and there we go, that's our 5x5 solved. Okay, that was it, if you want to see more tutorials from me you can check it out here, and I have a playlist with all the tutorials I have. And I hope this was useful, give me a thumbs up if it was and remember to subscribe for more tutorials and patterns and challenges and speed solving and so much more. And we'll meet again in the next video. Bye bye!